what is going on youtube onyx back on this mutt 15 and today i wanted to to just tell you guys how i get coins in mutt because i don't really i mean i do buy bundles i don't buy that many i haven't spent that much on bundles and i don't really pull anything good to really sell to get coins so i don't really get that many coins off of uh selling you know big ticket cards majority of mine come from basically two two or three ways uh, as you can see i don't really have any coins right now and that's mainly because this team that i have i basically just bought all of it uh before i really just had like a few cards that were worth a lot and i just sold like those two two or three cards that were worth a lot and went out and bought a lot of cards that are really good but are really selling for very cheap like Tyron Smith I just got selling he was about a 40k Balaga was about 40k uh, man goes all the way down to like 25 which is ridiculous in my opinion he's one of the best centers on this game blocking wise stats like blocking stats wise a lot of people when it comes to linemen a lot of people just go off of the front of the card stats where if you just go off of this, he's not that good. 86 run block, 90 pass block. Um, I don't really understand the front of card stats because it doesn't make sense. Because 86 run block, 90 pass block would mean that he shouldn't really have good run blocking or pass blocking stats. But if you go down and look at his footwork and his strength, they're both really good. Plus, he's 90 impact block. To where, in the same sense, if I go to this Travis Frederick... His front of the card stat says he has 97 run block. Now, he only has 84 strength and he only has 49 speed. But somehow he has 97 run block with 85 impact block. And if you actually go look at his blocking stats, how? Where, where does 97 run block come from? His footwork is below average and his run block strength is decent. How... How does he have 97 run block? I don't know. Nick Mangold is definitely better than him at run blocking. Sometimes the front of the card blocking stats don't make sense. I really don't go by them. But yeah, this Mangold should not be 25K, but he is. So if you need a center, go pick up that Nick Mangold. But yeah, like I was saying, um, yeah, I don't have any coins right now because I just bought the majority of these players. Cam Newton, I just bought. He's down to 100K. Franco Harris was about 90, Demarius was about 50, Gronkowski was about 50, um, who else, who else, who else, uh, Julius Peppers surprisingly, when I bought him, he was down to like 21k, because that last pack, that Super Bowl pack, the topper was like a elite road to the playoffs, so people were pulling him and just putting him up for anything, and in my opinion, he's one of the best left outside linebackers you can have. Um, main two reasons for that is he's 6'7", which is just crazy good. He has decent zone coverage. He's fast. His tackling's not the greatest. But whatever. He's fast with decent zone coverage. But my main reasons are 6'7", 76 catch and 90 jumping now 90 jump on a 6-7 guy is ridiculous and he can catch so he's not just swatting them down but yeah that's that's off topic but yeah like i said i just bought majority of these people uh that's why i don't have any coins right now i spent most of them on franco harris cam newton and these offensive linemen uh that right there just off of franco harris cam newton the two tackles was almost 300k, and then Rob Gronkowski was like 350, Demarius 400. Uh, I just bought Vincent Jackson. He's down to like 20-something k, so that wasn't too bad. But yeah, I spent a little bit of coins on this team. But like I was saying, the main way I get my coins is mainly just playing solo challenges. Um, if you go through these solo challenges you kind of got to be lucky too and i'm not that lucky so, but i still ended up getting coins 
as you can see I've been through a lot of these solo challenges I've already done all the dual style I've done all of the style challenges um, the first ones you should probably do I went through a lot of the road to the playoffs ones first because they give you badge packs I went through a lot of those first you, you, you get a lot of coins from doing some of these games like 4,000 coins once you get to the last game in in a team's uh, in a team's playoff set and then you play their actual MVP team that's another 4,000 coins and more badges and the badges it's up to you what you want to do with them majority of them I sold every gold and elite badge I got most of the time I sold it once again elite badges that's like 30k gold badges is like 5k so if you're pulling the badges out of packs instead of uh, paying for them then that's that's all profit along with the the coins you're getting from actually playing the games and then like I was saying do the style challenges you get the 95 Keekly and the 95 Peyton Manning which at the moment are extremely cheap so it's kinda pointless to do the style ones and, and get coins from it because you're not gonna get that much Keekly's down to like 45k and Peyton is down to like 20 <laughs> so that's whatever but this got me a lot of my coins finishing this dual style uh, dual style challenge um, you get a hundred K for completing it and you as long as you've already put all of the other uh, the four road to the playoffs or the four MVP uh, collectibles and all of the head to head seasons collectibles in there uh, once you complete this you will get not only the dual style uh, Marquise Pouncey and Ryan Kerrigan which once again you can turn around and sell those and you get like 10,000 coins I think but I when I completed that that was the last thing I needed to get Earl Thomas which I sold him for like 225 and you get a hundred thousand coins for completing that set so a lot of your coin getting is really just playing solos and uh as you can see road master dual style master I've completed all of these you get 10,000 coins for for completing this plus you get the pouncy and Ryan Kerrigan and then you get the collectible that goes into here you get a hundred thousand coins for this and you get the 96 overall Earl Thomas which you can use if you want to keep Earl Thomas or you can sell for at the time was around 220 K I'm not sure what he's going for now with this this ridiculous market crash but yeah and then the other thing I do is it's mainly just set around badges these these uh uniform well I don't really do the uniform ones I do them if I get them out of packs but a lot of these uniforms especially home uniforms sell for ridiculous prices uh, so I won't buy a lot of them but I do do stadiums and coaches are usually always cheap um, do those as many times as you can if you gotta buy a few of them it's usually not that big a deal because as long as you get even at least one gold badge you're usually making your coins back plus some and if you pull an elite badge then you've made a lot more coins than you usually spent doing this like I, I never have to buy all the coaches but even if you did have to buy all the coaches they're usually going for no more than 300 coins 300 times 30 I mean you're not spending that much buying all the coaches if you are lucky enough to pull a gold or elite badge um but once again like i said it's all kind of depending on luck with the badges if you never get an elite badge then it's kind of i don't know it's kind of pointless but as long as you pull some elite badges you play your solos you're gonna have the coins to do this and plus some more um I don't really like spending coins to pull packs unless I have a lot of coins I might pull one or two packs because it usually doesn't 
it usually doesn't give me anything that I can at least get my coins back with. Um, the only other thing I do to uh, get coins is I go through my item binder and all of my players, well, not bronze, I probably don't have that many right now because I've gone through, but all of these players that I'm not using that let me uh, switch this to road to the playoffs so all these road to the playoffs players that go into sets like him as you can see I've already put him in the set because I'm putting a lot of these people in the sets um, you can do one of two things you can either put them in your sets or you can sell them I sell majority of them and I just throw them up for like 2k uh, two three thousand depending on who the player is some of them go for more than that but majority of the time there's somebody gonna be searching for these players within a day and if they don't sell I just throw them back up there and usually within a day or two they sell and 500 coins from the auction is better than quick selling it for 250 you sell all the players you have that you're not using and once again that is a nice amount of coins so um auction block gets you a lot of coins sell everything you're not using sell all the roads to play everything that goes into a set throw it up uh, there's a lot of silver cards that go into sets that sell for ridiculous prices so you might want to look some of those up some of the silver cards and especially um especially the ones that go into like elite the uh the elite the captain sets um yeah a lot of those I I sold for like four and five thousand coins so some of them sell for a nice amount of coins so yeah you might want to look them up before you throw them up on the auction block especially the silver ones uh, the gold ones I usually just throw up for cheap just to get rid of them real quick I don't know why the silver ones go for so much more I guess because they're rarer and more people get the the weak gold cards than they do the silvers that go in the elite sets but yeah uh that's that's usually how i get all my coins and that's probably the easiest way to get coins that doesn't involve the most luck i mean it still involves some luck because you still need uh to be lucky enough to pull some some elite badges and gold badges and whatnot i mean if you don't pull any of that stuff then it's kind of you have nothing to sell but yeah that's all i have for you for this one like i said stay tuned i'll be back with uh with some of the best budget players at each position and go ahead and leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'm onyx and i'm out of here